Everyone should have access to good quality food and if it's homegrown you feel that sense of accomplishment. For this innovation festival I'm creating a smart greenhouse. A lot of people all around the world live in unfavourable conditions so it's something which can work in a variety of climate and solves a real world problem. Simply it's a greenhouse which allows you to monitor the temperature, soil moisture and the light inside and allows you to control it or allows you to use predicted values so we can give you the most amount of yield from your plants. Me and my granddad do gardening at home and you kind of struggle with a greenhouse because we have such variations in temperature. It's hard to create stability. So we thought that we could create a product which provides that stability for the best optimum plant growth. Everyone should have access to good quality food and if it's homegrown you feel that sense of accomplishment. In the next two weeks I would hope to have started building the greenhouse and thinking about how we're going to insulate it as well as place all the electronics. So since the last time we spoke, we hadn't got the greenhouse actually ready and built. So now we've built it and now it's coming along really well. My role in this is to design and build the actual physical greenhouse that we're going to be using. Through this, I've done 3D drawings and then I've been using different 3D modeling software such as Rhinoceros 3D. And from that, I made 3D joints. The 3D joints help it to connect together and in the long run it could also be collapsible so it can be flat packed and easy for transportation to anywhere. I was responsible for a lot of the coding for the interface that goes between the relay and the micro board we have so we can connect our computer to the internet so we can post a lot of the data from the greenhouse so people at Innovation Fest should be able to view the live metrics that are coming from the greenhouse. I've been the main person that's been implementing the machine learning server that we're going to be using to predict the uh, yield rate of the plant as it's growing. We think that's going to be really important to help people understand if their plant is growing with the right conditions. So if it's not, they can try and fix it. I look forward to the Innovation Festival, not only to demonstrate what my team have done, but also to see what everyone else has produced. So today obviously it's a, it's a quite a big day, but we're all feeling confident and we've managed to get everything working, which is really good. I'm happy that it's obviously all complete. Uh, we spent quite a long time designing this project, I think three, four months. So today we're presenting our project. There's been a lot of revisions since the last time we showed off the project, um, such as tomato detection, which is always interesting. I'm relieved Innovation Fest is finally here. It's nice to see what everyone else has done because there's a lot of amazing projects around you. It's a good atmosphere. So my granddad's quite excited to see the project in full swing, especially with the ripeness detection feature because something he runs into is always picking things off before they're properly ripe because he's a bit of an impatient person. Out of today, I'd like to network with some industry professionals. I'd like to show off some of the skills and hopefully look to get a year in industry.